Hi, this is Rowena from Island Papery, and today's project is our Ohana Waterfall photo album. In it, you can place your photos, the different sizes, and there's a tab at the bottom that you pull so that the photos come out and uh, come down like a waterfall card or a waterfall. Um, this is a pink card that we have in the store that we made, but today what we're going to do is create a green Lawa'e fern waterfall photo album. To get started, we're going to need our Island Papery Loa A Fern stamps in seven different sizes, but we're only going to use four sizes today. We also have our Island Papery Olive Green stamp pad. Our laser cuts are the Loa A Fern laser cut and the Black Ohana laser cut. And Ohana means family in Hawaiian. We have two different colors of cardstock um, the darker green one is cut at five and a half by ten and a half and scored at five and a quarter. We need a three and a half by ten piece scored at two inches, two and three fourths, three and a half and four and a quarter. We also have a one and a half by eleven and a half piece for the band and two and three fourths by five piece. In the lighter green color we have a five by five 5 by 4 and a half or 4 and a quarter, 5 by 3 and a half, 5 by 2 and 3 fourths, and another piece at um, 5 by 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, so let's put these off to the side. And what we're going to do is take our stamps, place them on our acrylic block, and I have four different sizes here that I placed randomly. I'm going to ink up my um, stamp my stamps um, nicely and I'm going to just stamp at random places on the cardstock. Now this is going to be the cover of our waterfall photo album and you want to make sure that the, uh, the stamps are inked up really nice and that you're pressing down hard um, so that the, the Loa'i Fern um, stamp shows up really nicely on your paper and try to stamp at random places so that you don't get too much of a pattern that you just have the lower A in all different places on your card okay, so I'll just close that up and put it off to the side and then fold the card where the score line is. Again, the score line is at four, I'm sorry, five and a quarter. Then we're going to take our mechanism for the waterfall piece and using our cards and some double-sided tape, we're going to tape the cards onto this piece. And what we're going to do is start from the bottom with the smallest card, the one that's measured at um, five by two and three fourths. So we're going to start with that one first and try to get it centered in the middle. Then we put some tape on into the card again to the next score line. Remove the backing and then place the next larger card. That one's the five by three and a half. And I want to make sure that the cards are aligned properly and centered. Otherwise, it won't look too pretty when you start um, opening up your card and pulling on the tab to make that waterfall. It might, it might not turn out too well. So again, just work your way from the bottom to the top, starting with the smallest card and then working your way up to the bigger 5x5 five five card. Okay, so just do a check to make sure that all the cards are lined up. And there you have your mechanism for the waterfall. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take that long strip and make a band 
around the back of the card or the back of the photo album. So I'll center that strip in the middle and then fold it over. And I'll take the double sided tape and what I'll do is put two pieces of tape there just so that the band stays on nicely. And instead of um, horizontally, I think I should have put it, placed the tape vertically. But just remember to do that when you do your project. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do, because I like to make sure that um, the my pieces don't um, come apart, I wanted to put another piece of double-sided tape on the back and then place the band over that so that it doesn't shift around when you're moving the waterfall piece. Just be sure that when you place the band back onto the card that it doesn't stick to that, um, that piece, that you position the band correctly and then flatten it to make sure that it's set in place. Okay, there we go. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do is attach the waterfall piece to the band. And I think this is the most difficult part of putting together your card. So what you're going to do is place a piece of double-sided tape onto the back part underneath the smallest um, cardstock piece that you placed onto the waterfall mechanism. Okay, there you go. I'm going to make the, um, the edge of that piece rounded or the corners of that piece rounded just to just to make it a little bit nicer okay there you go all right you're not quite done yet you still have to put together the cover of your your photo album so you're going to take the leftover pieces along with some double sided tape and attach the pieces onto the front of the card. <coughs> and what I'm doing here is using two pieces of double-sided tape and again so that it's it stays nicely um, onto the the photo album. The cardstock that we're using, the two different colors, you can find them in our store. We have Gumdrop Green, that one's the darker green color, and the Sour Apple color. Okay. Now for some finishing touches, we're going to use our laser cut in the Loa A Fern style. And we're using a Martha Stewart adhesive. Um, it's a stamper, a dot stamper. And what I like about it is that um, it's easy to use. And you can also reposition it if you make a mistake the first time. But that's one of our favorite tools here at Island Papery is that Martha Stewart um, stamper adhesive. And then the next thing we're going to do is place the Ohana laser cut and again we're going to use our Martha Stewart adhesive stamper. So we're going to place our Ohana laser cut onto the front and there you go. All you need to do now is place your photos inside and then enjoy. You can also send it off to your family and friends. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.